You can fight the bad bugs in your garden with flowers. Here's how we do it on Wood Prairie. So today we're mixing flowers for the flower beds that are between the potato rows that bring in a lot of beneficial pollinators into the field. So we have many different varieties of flowers here. These are zinnias and then already in the tubs we have sunflowers, black-eyed susans, cosmos, poppies, facilla, dill, flax, chicory, um, bishop's flower, more sunflowers, sweet asylum, and a lot of different cover crops that bring in lots of pollinators to help with the potatoes during the season. And then after it's all mixed, we'll put some PPC and we'll mix it all together. And later today, we'll put these seeds into the field and they'll start growing. What's PPC? PPC is pelletized poultry compost that we use as a medium just to spread it throughout the fields with the flower beds that Jim made last week during planting. Okay, we're in the potato field now. We're going to take the seed that Amy mixed up in the uh, warehouse, put it into this five foot cedar, and then we're going to proceed into the field. We've got a couple of beds we're going to plant to flowers, and then in addition, we're going to plant the perimeter uh, to these beneficial flowers that provide refuge and nutrition to the beneficial insects that eat the predators of our crop. We're trying to help the beneficials and in any given field, 90% of the insects out there are going to be beneficials. So we're trying to make their life easier so they can help us uh, keep the, the economic pests under control. So the reason we mix the batches the way we do is that some of the flowers that we have, you don't need very much per acre and some of the seed is really tiny. And if you were to make a giant batch of 100 or 200 pounds of flower seed together, uh, some of the minor flowers would simply get lost. There's a high risk that you wouldn't get uniformity in the flower batches. So we do small batches of 10 or 20 pounds at a time, including all 17 of the varieties that we're uh, planting this year. And the benefit of that is it in every batch you're going to have representation so as you batch it out small you're going to get a higher uniformity in what you've got then you can combine those batches afterwards but what we found that we get better uniformity and consistency throughout the entire plantation if we make it up in small batches So once we mix the 17 varieties of flower seeds together, the next step is we mix it in with pelletized poultry compost, which serves as a carrier. We may be only using something like 10 pounds of flower seed per acre, which if you did that on your own, you would be hard pressed to get that uniformly applied. But if you cut it with a carrier like PPC, you can apply at a rate of 30 or 40 pounds an acre, which is a much more reasonable amount, and the flower seed is going to get distributed. So this is a technique that we use for different crops that we plant, but we use a carrier, and in this case, it's an organic fertilizer that we also use for growing crops, so it's beneficial to have that to give a little bit of a boost to the flowers as they get growing but it's a way that once you calibrate your planter, you don't have to redo that every year because you're using the same carrier at the same rate and then you can mix the amount of the flowers inside it, but it doesn't change the calibration on how you're getting it applied. When we're doing our seeding pass, we're actually doing three things at once. First, we have a front mount flamer that is flame killing weeds. 
then we seed the flowers, and then behind the flowers is a colda packer, and the colda packer's function is to firm up the soil in the top couple of inches so the soil seed contact improves. That gets moisture to the seed quicker, allows the flower seed to germinate quicker, and that quicker germination is an advantage in outcompeting weeds. Here's a uh, bumblebee on uh, Pink Cosmos, and uh, we're happy to have pollinators come in and, and uh, feed on our flowers, but that's not the express purpose of what we're doing. What we're trying to do is to create a habitat that's going to be valuable for beneficials. They'll be able to get nectar and pollen from it, feed themselves, get strong, build their population up, and then disperse into the field uh, going after the economic pests that can be a problem in potatoes. Why are they a problem with potatoes? Well, uh, different pests do different things. Aphids and leafhoppers will suck juice out of a plant. Economic pests are the ones that come into a crop like potatoes and cause economic harm. Uh, loss of leaf surface area, which prevents complete photosynthesis, cuts down the ability of the plant to make energy, which goes into tubers and with water, that's what creates a tuber and gets them to size up or to bulk up. So by keeping insects at bay, the plants grow strong, they maintain their vigor, and they grow the best sized tubers in the least amount of time. So the cosmos that we plant is a uh, combination of the three different colors. There's a white cosmos, there's a pink, Cosmos, and there's a violet compost. <laughs> violet Cosmos. So the flowers that we are growing in our beneficial beds, there's a difference between flowers for pollinators and flowers for beneficial insects. And we're happy to have pollinators come, you know, like bees, honeybees, or bumblebees. Uh, and they're taking benefit from the flowers, and, and that's all well and good. What we're after, though, is a, a different use for the flowers, and that's the beneficial insects. Uh, some will get benefit from the pollen, some will get benefit uh, from the nectar. So the flowers that we're interested in providing are ones that, that will help provide nourishment for beneficials that once they get their start, They'll multiply and then they'll go into the field and they'll start to eat those economically important insect pests, things like aphids and leafhoppers and flea beetles and Colorado potato beetle. So we're happy to have pollinators come here, but that's not the purpose of our beds. Our beds are designed to benefit the beneficials so that they can get a good start and then with their big numbers, they can go in and control the, the pests and the potatoes. So that's a sunflower, not quite mature enough to open up with a flower yet. <laughs> 